All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is your buddy, the best 1A. Most of y'all already know me as Bruce. I'm going to do a how to video basically. We're going to take off the rear wheel on a V Star 1300. So, this is what we're going to do. All right, we're going to try and take our time with this. Now, some of the things you're going to need first, you're going to need to pull. All right, you're going to need to pull this axle nut right here, and that is a 27 millimeter okay so you need a 27 millimeter socket that's going to have to be a half inch socket now with that you're going to need also a half inch wrench but of the bigger variety or a breaker bar basically if you have okay you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket okay to take off one and two both of the brake caliper bolts Okay, because you're going to have to take off the brake calipers. And you're going to have to take off the brake pads. Alright. Then you're going to need a 12 millimeter. Okay. Two 12 millimeter wrenches. So that you can loosen one and two. Nut number one and nut number two. And these are for your alignment. And if you haven't already, you should take a picture of your little alignment caster blocks which are right here you have two on each side you want to want to spray them down and clean them beforehand and then take a photo of each side that way you remember where they where they actually are and you're going to want to look and see exactly where that little line is along in that slot and i'm not going to zoom in i'll just put a picture in of a picture that i took yesterday of it that way you can see okay so uh let's get going and I'll loosen this block and we'll be right back all right YouTube so we are going to pull the rear axle now, I, want, I, want, I like to make sure I loosen it off of I should turn around, I should, I like to make sure I loosen it while it's not on the kickstand I'm sorry while it's on the kickstand but not on the jack okay just because of how tight it is so I like to just do that before I take it off <laughs> before I jack it I like to do that so loosen it up all right Let's put that to the side all right now let me jack it up and I'll be right back all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take off the brake calipers here we got to loosen those two bolts or well, these two bolts which is one right here and one right here and all right so take those off loosen that. let's loosen that all right once you take those out just put them somewhere nice and safe and you're gonna just take off your brake caliper nice and easy and careful okay now you're gonna take your brake pads out all right looking good take that one out try not to get your greasy hands all over the business side take those out just put them just like that if you want to you can mark them as uh clutch and brake side kind of up to you right, when we take the wheel out this brake bracket right here just look in there and take a look at how it goes in you can see it from the top up here there's um there's an indentation damn what the hell happened there there's an indentation on what is that there's an indentation on the swing arm where that brake bracket has to slide in when you get ready to put your wheel and everything back in all it is th this has to go on along with the wheel and align everything back up and get it back in okay it's kind of awkward but it has to be done all right now you want to loosen up these two uh this screw here you need one to hold this and one to loosen this set screw just take your time with that too while you're at it all right watch your knuckles okay there you go and you're going to turn this in a bit because you need to take the slack off of the belt but you're going to have to turn both sides just enough to where you turn both all right all right that's good now i'll just do the other side and we'll be right back all right so on this side as you can see I have the belt tensioner screw backed off and here's your other wheel alignment plate okay just remember it has these little notches in here and you have that little you can't see it <clears throat> anyway um, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to take this belt off 
okay I want to have it just along the inside of the uh, I want to have it along the inside of the rim so that when I drop it down all I got to do is just rope it around the outside or actually I can I could put it on the out uh, put it on the outside whichever one's uh, gonna be easier we'll see but so now I can just push it forward just just give the tire a couple hits and push that forward I may have to go forward a little bit more I mean we'll see maybe not but Yeah, see, that was good. May have to go towards the inside. Probably easier towards the inside. So, I would love to get it on the outside, but that's fine. All right, so now we got the belt off, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I can take off the axle nut on the other side okay and then from there I can push the axle through from the other side over through here all right so we are back on the other side actually now we're just gonna loosen this some more right. so we'll take off this axle nut all right I'm gonna take off the axle nut and just like how you see it how it came on that's how I'm gonna set it down Okay, a little dirt in there. The washer, just like how I took it off, I'll put it over here. And the camber plate, I'll slide the wheel back a little bit. And there you go. And I'll take them just like this as a set. Okay, just as a set. This little piece right here, that's going to go, <clears throat> this little raised piece goes towards the front. So, I'll take that and I'll put that down on the jack. All right. And now, one or two things you can do. If you have the deluxe bags on here, you're gonna it's gonna take up a lot more room. I I have the bags off right now because I was installing the top box. Most times I don't take off the box, take off the the bags. So what I'd have to do is jack the bike up a little bit higher, then um, put put a a scissor jack underneath here to take the pressure off the axle so I could slide this right out then lower the scissor jack and lower the wheel out so let me get the scissor jack just to help because that way you don't have to try and hold the wheel up so slide the scissor jack underneath put a little pressure on the wheel and that'll make it just a little bit easier for me to pull that axle right out without much of an issue and now we will just give this axle a push on out just like that watch your finger all right, weird things do happen. Can't buy another finger. And you're gonna go on the other side and just pull that axle on out as much as you can. All right, nice and nice and easy. If it binds or gets stuck, then you need to either raise the jack, lower the jack. You're gonna have to just look at it and figure it out. All right, take your time. You get the axle out, okay? You let the wheel stay in there for a minute. All right, now I have the axle out. As you can see here, the caster block is still on there. Grease and everything is on there, which is fine. Now I'll take the axle and I'll just lean it up somewhere safe. All right, now I can lower that scissor jack and basically just lower the wheel right on out. If anything, actually what I'll do is I'll just Set that belt like that so that when I lower the jack it'll just lower it right on out from under the belt now I just want to keep it straight as straight as I can and I'll just lower it that bracket is gonna fall out which is fine it's actually just holding on over there when that comes out I'll it always falls out I mean if you can you can just grab it right on out of there all right just pull that little scissor jack out and these little you have these little things here they like to fall out sometimes just take them and 
just put them on the side like that okay same thing with the other side I'll take it out and I'll just put that one on top of the scissor jack and there you go your wheel is out and that's pretty much that that's uh pretty much removing the rear wheel from your V-Star 1300.